Hey everybody, this is Hughes Autoformers. We're gonna show you how to officially pair your device with your Power Watchdog Surge Protector unit. So first thing to remember is that there are two apps that uh, we have and uh, two different types of uh, Power Watchdog Surge Protectors. So depending on the type of unit you have, you do need to download the correct app. Um, if you have the 50 amp surge protector that looks like this or the 30 amp version um, where it has your uh, kind of diagnostics right here in the front, um, this is your, the base model. It doesn't have the EPO function, which is the emergency power off. So you will need to download this app on the left power watch dog with the red dog's face and the white background. If you do have the 30 or 50 amp version, um, that's a little bit bigger, has the EPO function, the front looks a little bit different, then you're gonna download this other app. So again, if you have this unit or the 30 amp version where it's got the lights on the front um, and it looks like this, you need to download this app right here that looks like the red dog's face and the white background. So <clears throat> download the app and go ahead and open the app. And then the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click settings, you're gonna click add device, it's gonna ask you to access your camera. So you need to give it permission to access your camera. You use that scanning box to scan the QR code. And once you scan that QR code, it should pull up the device's information. You do need to give the device a name. So it could be anything uh, that you like. Um, just it has to have some sort of name uh, associated with it. So once you put that name in, go ahead and click OK. You'll see your device's name there. And then you go to scan. So it's gonna say scan finished, it found the device, go ahead and click on it, it'll say connect, and now you're actually connected and in, in, uh, in business. So from there you can click the dog's face or data display and it's showing you uh, what's coming in. Right now it's showing that I have low voltage, I have 113 uh, on my line one and it's giving me my alerts. So I'll show you how to do the alerts in just a second. Um, but this is basically a device that's successfully paired to your unit. Um, you have your energy, which is in kilowatt hours, so how much you've used. Uh, watts is also your power that you're using in current and you know current time. Uh, volts coming in on both lines and amps, what you're drawing on both lines. So if you're at a park and you want to measure the energy amount of energy you're using, uh, you can just click the reset. It'll take a second. Make sure I pushed it. And so it'll reset your, your kilowatt hour. There you go. <clears throat> and so this measures the amount of energy that you're used. So if you're at a park and they charge for power, you might want to keep an eye on that. Just reset it when you get to that park, and it's going to always constantly keep track of the power that you're using. Uh, so the second feature I want to show you is uh, the alert settings. You can see one of those is red. Um, it means that the voltage is lower than what we've set it to. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. So you go back to settings and it goes to set device. Click on the device that you want to set. And I've set it as a minimum for volts of 113. So you can either adjust it obviously up or down. 113, 112, you start to get to the lower end of, uh, of voltage. Um, you may want to be notified and that way you can set it either higher or lower. Uh, obviously the maximum volts, you probably want to keep, uh, keep it around 130 volts. Get a notification if you start getting above that. Depending if you have a 30 amp or 50 amp s system, you may want to uh, put your amps just a couple uh, notches below what your maximum amps, your maximum draw would be. So again, I have mine set <coughs> to 112 volts. So I can go back here and I'm gonna adjust my voltage uh, back up so as you can see I put one of the voltages at 136 which is outside my range so I'm getting a, uh, an alert there I should get an error I can drop it back down so now I'm in my acceptable range say you're at a park the power starts dropping. And now you get your uh, alert sent to your phone that you're outside your set limit. So the other cool feature is that you actually don't need to be in the app. This allows you to see what you're using, what you're getting in real time. Even if you're not in the app, 
let me turn the voltage back up and I'm gonna turn it back down even if you're in the if you're not using your phone you can still receive the alert or not using the app I'm sorry and there we go so I just turned the voltage down to about 106 107 on one of the legs and there we are so uh, this is how you properly pair your device with your power watchdog surge protector again this unit uh, or the 30 amp version you do need to use this red dog's face with the white background if you have any of our EPO units emergency power off you're going to be using this other one right here